Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a custom date picker slicer in Power BI. So let me give you a quick demo of what we're going to be creating today. So if you look at this visual over here, we have created a visual which will let you select a range of date. For example, if you click on this particular uh, space over here you will get a calendar here from which you can select the year you can select the month and then you can select the date and likewise you have to you can select the end date as well so this is a nice little uh, uh, custom uh, date picker that you can integrate in your dashboard especially if you are playing around with dates in your data so let's get started i'm going to teach you how to create this firstly let me quickly just delete this and get started from the beginning so the first thing that I'll be doing here is I'm going to pull in my order date column, which is over here. I'm going to bring in the order date and then change the visual here to slicer. So once you have done that, you will see something like this. And one thing that you will have to do here is that uh, you will have to click on this button over here and change this to order date because we cannot work with date hierarchy because you don't have uh, uh, options other than list and drop down. So once we select this to order date, then you will see a lot of other options which are available over here. So for this particular scenario, we're going to select between. And when you select between here, you will get something like this. So let's make a couple of changes here in the format tab. So the first thing that we will be doing here is we're going to be turning off the slider because we don't need the slider. And then we also don't need the background in this particular case. And then let's go to date inputs and change the font color here to white. And then let's turn off the slicer header as well. And then let's go to title, turn this on and call this as select date range. Okay, and then we'll change the font color here to white as well. And then let's go to date input and increase the text size to about, oh, that's a little too much, about 14. And uh, let's quickly rearrange this so that this particular visual sits right in this particular section over here and then let's reduce the font size here so that it fix so that it sits right there in that particular visual and then let's go back to title over here and uh, align this to center and now we have the date picker so when you click on this you will now get the calendar table over here and then you have year you have months that you can select from so this is how you can create the custom visual here which will let you select your date range i hope you guys have learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials